My name is Engelbert Paschek. I'm a mathematician and researcher and have worked as a consultant in the pharmaceutical industry for more than 15 years. I speak for the Expert Council. This is an international network of active and renowned scientists, experts and journalists from the fields of medicine, natural and human sciences and law. Most of its, its activities take place in German-speaking countries. The network is working together on solutions and therapies for the numerous consequences that have arisen as a result of the pandemic measures. Live training courses for doctors and therapists are also offered on long COVID and post-vac. There are a number of unresolved problems with the modified mRNA, also called mRNA injectables, largely due to the shortened development and approval phase of already marketed products. Among other things, the inflammatory lipid nanoparticles used and the plasmid DNA contamination already detected by several labs pose a major problem and lead to unexpected and serious side effects. Furthermore, quantity, location and duration of endogenous production of foreign proteins like the toxic spike protein is not under control due to a lack of pharmacokinetic and biodistribution studies. A long known problem which is also mentioned in the package inserts of approved modified mRNA injectables is myocarditis, especially in male adolescents and young men. It leads to permanent damage in many cases and significantly increases the risk of heart failure. At the same time, there is an increase in autoimmune diseases and a significant decline in the birth rate in many countries that could have far-reaching social consequences. Package inserts state that impairment of male fertility after modified mRNA injections has not been investigated. According to package inserts, neither genotoxicity nor carcinogenicity studies were performed before approval, which leaves many unanswered questions. There's alarming evidence of an increased cancer risk for which there appear to be several causes, including the already mentioned plasmid DNA impurities and an impaired immune system. Pharmacoeconomic analysis were omitted by the authorities and, as a consequence, the risk-benefit ratio of modified mRNA injectables has not been sufficiently clarified in any way. Especially the long-term risk is still completely unclear due to the lack of long-term safety studies. In view of these serious and other manifold risks, we recommend an immediate halt to mRNA vaccinations. Thank you for your attention.